it, it struck a chord with me because I, at that time, was constantly working, constantly busy, um, trying to achieve these great big goals, but I felt like I really wasn't um, for anything. I was just so, so busy and so focused on multitasking and wasn't, I wasn't really present. Um, and I had overcome a late stage cancer. I was dealing with some, you know, some emotional um, grief and loss, uh, losing some friends that I thought I could save and I couldn't. Um, so just a lot of things going on and trying to figure out that emotional balance that overwhelming desire to want to be present, kids and my family and, you know, professionally, and um, to also learn how to heal and kind of just quiet the noise a little bit. Um, that was the main for starting the joining the, the back in May. Um, and then I also had some physical things that I was overcoming residual effects from chemo, uh, some wrist issues and things that were holding me back to the point where I felt like there were so many other things I wanted to explore in life, but I felt like I just couldn't because I had to, oh, I have to get my wrist fixed. You know, I've got to figure that out before I start Krav Maga training, or I have to completely heal my mind to be fully present. Um, but joining this tribe um, has taught me so much. Apply to my life. The tools to be able to to approach mindfulness piece by piece, and with this beautiful progression of an introduction to mindfulness, and then you go this wonderful journey and start getting into things a little bit deeper. Um, and you can choose at your pace what you want to experience and what you want to go deeper into, and what what you don't. And then you have the the movement side of it that also there's all of these options where you're learning the tools to kind of recalibrate your body in a sense.